everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has recently come to my attention that I have quite a few pair of sunglasses. I didn't realize until I posted on Instagram that I got this sunglasses case and everybody was like, wow, those are a lot of sunglasses. So I figured I would share my sunglasses and probably rank them from like my favorite to my least favorite. First of all, this sunglasses case, I got it off of Amazon and it's awesome because it has this clear part here so you can see your sunglasses here and then it has this one here, this drawer so you can put the rest. I'm trying not to like flip it too much so that it doesn't fall. I do have my favorite sunglasses at the top and then the ones in the drawer are the ones that I don't wear as often. I'll start with my most recently purchased pair and it's actually these Stella McCartney sunglasses. I bought these off of a website called Essence, like S Sense, because they were on sale. They were 70% off. So they were actually under $100 when they normally retail for, I think it's over 400. So a steal. I would say they're comfortable though, quite frankly, I did wear them for quite a bit when we were driving to St. Augustine and I did get a little bit of a headache so I think after a while, they're not as comfy as some of my other pairs of sunglasses, but I do like them because they're a different style. I like how they're just like straight over here and then here they go a little more like geometric. So fan of that, the sunglasses, like the um, lenses are actually a little bit light black, light brown or something. I mean, you can definitely see my eyes. So if you're looking for super dark sunglasses that hide your eyes, not these ones, but I like them quite a bit. These are my Adam Selman, the last Lolita sunglasses. They're Adam Selman X Less Specs. It's a collab that they did, I guess. And I love these sunglasses to wear like in the summer. I feel like they're the perfect summer sunglasses with dresses, like a summer dress, going outside, looking all, you know, fancy, whatever. Love these ones. They're actually, I have very few sunglasses that are, that are have like a white frame. I actually only have two. I love them because they're just so different. They're literally, they're cat eye sunglasses and they look very classy and just remind me of like Audrey Hepburn. So big fan of that. These are literally like my favorite sunglasses in the summertime when I'm wearing summer dresses and they are quite comfortable. Next up are my, I actually don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's Ilastiva or Ilasteva. Apparently they're pronounced Ilasteva. So anyway, Ilasteva. These are the Lisbon sunglasses. And what I really like about these ones is that it's kind of like an ombre design. So it's brown up here and then it has a little bit of pinkish over here. And then it's more like white at the bottom. So love that it's very different in terms of the color and the shape is very similar to my Celine sunglasses which are coming up soon. I love the size. They're super comfortable. They fit me just fine. They're not big, not too tight, nothing. Being like this type of different coloring, I feel like just adds a little bit more of like a, oh wow, like a statement sunglasses. Like they're definitely different. The lenses are brownish, so they're so like lighter. I don't think I have any sunglasses that have super dark lenses where you can't see my eyes. So I think that most of them you're gonna be able to see my eyes, but I really love these. Next up are my Christian Dior sunglasses that I bought in Paris. These are a little bit more similar to my Adam Selman sunglasses. They're a little bit more like cat eye and classy like that. They say Christian Dior here on the side. I like the shape. These ones are actually had to get Chris to like really tighten because this kept like widening and it was really just like falling off my eyes. Like if I looked down, they would like immediately fall. So I had him tighten them a little bit so that it stays actually in place. But I love the design because it has these little lines that go towards the front. So they're a little bit different there with that. And then, like I said, it's this Christian Dior Paris. And these are the Dior Signature B2U sunglasses. Now for my Celine sunglasses, which are actually my favorite sunglasses that I own, period. These are the Cat Eye sunglasses and and like pretty much I think all Celine sunglasses, they have the little three dots here. I'm pretty sure I've seen these on like every pair of Celine sunglasses. They say Celine pairs on the inside, Celine on the outside, and they are by far my comfiest sunglasses, my best fitting ones. Like they literally just stay in place. I don't feel like they're too big or anything like that. I normally struggle with sunglasses feeling like they're too big for my face. Not like overall with the design, but I mean like they literally just don't stay in place behind my ears. They tend to fall very easily if I like look down. Whereas these ones I feel like totally stay in place. I love the shape. Love the everything honestly these are literally my favorite sunglasses so many people have them on social media like i see them all the time on instagram but i feel like everybody that i know that has them is like yeah these are definitely worth it so i know that they're expensive but they're for sure worth it next up are my second to last sunglasses that i've purchased and these are the prada sunglasses that i feel like also almost everyone has i wear them for hot girl walks every saturday when we go and host them in miami and they say prada on the side they have like a different design on the side like it's very very different than my other sunglasses because it's just like thicker well it does get thinner as it goes, but it, it is like this thicker design, more like geometric, I guess. And the sunglasses are more, I would say more like 90s style with these very much just rectangular, no other, you know, shape that changes. It's just very much like rectangular sunglasses. And I like them, they're very comfortable. And even though so many people have them, I still think that they're worth it. I think the frames for these ones are a little bit darker than the other ones that I have shown, but I think you can still see my eyes. I can at least see them like in the mirror. So I can't see very well wearing sunglasses and looking at a camera. I do think that they are a little bit darker lenses than my other ones. But again, I'm a fan of these 
least. Okay, that was my top drawer or, you know, whatever part of the box. Let's go on to the actual drawer. First up, my Ray-Ban sunglasses. These are, I don't know if they have a name. They're just like the round metal sunglasses. And they're just, these are the smallest ones. So I think that there's two sizes, if I'm not wrong. Two to three sizes. I believe there's only two. But these are the smallest frames. And they're gold around the frame. And then the actual lenses are like a grayish, light black, I guess. They say Ray-Ban. I don't believe these are polarized. No, these are just Ray-Ban. They have a P, they're polarized. If not, then... They're not. These are super comfortable. The one thing that I will say about these, and I don't know why, but my phone will not recognize my face when I'm wearing these sunglasses. So that's the only reason why they annoy me because I literally cannot wear them and unlock my phone with my face. I have to either take them off or use my passcode, which I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's just more like inconvenient. None of my other sunglasses do this, but I don't know what it is about this. It somehow like changes the shape of my face or something. My phone does not recognize me anymore. Super comfortable sunglasses. These, unlike all the other ones that I have shown, have these, I don't know what these things are called, the little nose thing. But anyway, that's how they sit on your nose. They don't have the other ones where like literally the actual frame is what sits on your nose. This one has those uh, little nose things. Again, I don't know the name. They're also probably the lightest sunglasses that I own. Like they're extremely light, but I think that they're a classic. Next up, these are less specs. These are Hema Karena and these actually are polarized. So when I put these on and I look at the camera, I literally cannot see anything. Everything turns super blue. So I have no idea what I'm seeing right now. Happens the same way with my phone screen. That's why I don't wear it very often because if I look at my phone screen, then I can't see things properly. It totally shifts the coloring of everything. So these are really nice. However, if you're looking at a screen, not the greatest. They do have super light frames, not frames, lenses. So you can for sure see my eyes the whole time, but they're like a nice summer pair, I would say, of sunglasses. And I do like that the frame is clear and a little bit more I would say it's like an orange hue they're really comfortable though and very light as well up next these are Tom Ford sunglasses and these are I cannot remember the name oh Dasha Dasha sunglasses have it right at the end I had been wanting these sunglasses for so long and then I found them one day at Saks off fifth and I got them immediately because they sell out like right away like the lady was like listen if you want them she was like I'm not just being a salesperson she was like if you want them you need to get them right now because these sell out immediately these are my favorite my biggest sunglasses they're also polarized so I also can't see See very much in front of the camera right now or when I have my phone on but they're one of those sunglasses that you just wear when you literally wanted to just fully cover your face you don't want to you want to look very unbothered I would say they have you know in the typical Tom Ford fashion they have like the little T design here on the side and then the side are just like the metal and then the front is this you know plastic black frame but again biggest sunglasses I own for sure I don't wear these as often anymore just because they're so big and lately I've been leaning more into smaller sunglasses okay next up are these dime sunglasses I believe these are dime I think these are dime sunglasses these are like a sister brand to diff I wear if I'm not wrong these are the only other pair of white sunglasses that I have or like white frame sunglasses these I actually got gifted for a an event that we had here in Miami so I didn't get these I just like sent them out but they're nice I feel like I wear these mostly to the beach or the pool not to like be disrespectful to these sunglasses but it's just one of those sunglasses where like if something were to happen to them I wouldn't really be too upset about it so I like them I think that they're a cool shape they're very much like my Prada sunglasses in terms of like the rectangular shape here this side is like pretty straight so it doesn't have like that different design like the Prada sunglasses but it is pretty much like that I like them they're nice but like I said it's one of those where like they're those sunglasses that you need to have in case you were to lose them you don't care too much and lastly another pair of dime sunglasses these were also gifted and I actually kind of like these a little bit better than the white ones these are polarized so I'm not seeing anything right now in front of the camera but I like that they have this different design here they remind me a little bit of the Stella McCartney ones that I showed but in a smaller frame I feel like they're smaller than the Stella McCartney obviously they're not like designer sunglasses so they do feel this one and the white ones that I just had they do feel a little bit cheaper so that's why also these are like the sunglasses that I just wear to the beach or to the pool or whatever again it doesn't really I don't get too worried about them if something were to happen so I like the design I like the style I think that they're super comfortable but I mean they do feel like a cheaper material oh these say bestie so maybe the name of these sunglasses are bestie okay now if I were to rank my sunglasses number one by far no doubt Celine sunglasses literally without a doubt by the way I'm doing this ranking from like my favorite to my least favorite just so that we're clear number two this one's a tough one but I feel like I've been really really leaning into these Stella McCartney sunglasses lately probably because I also just got them but I was really really obsessed the second that I saw them and I've been really liking them so I would say this have to be number two number three would be my Dior sunglasses I just feel like they're a very classic style so I'm a big fan of these ones I just wish that they were a little bit tighter like even though Chris had to tighten the um this little side I still feel like it's not as tight as like I like my sunglasses to fit fourth I would have to say are my Prada sunglasses I really do enjoy this style it's very different it reminds me more of the 90s so I'm a big fan plus they're so comfortable 
totally worth it. Five would have to be my Illestiva sunglasses because again, I love the design. It does very much look like my Celine sunglasses. So I clearly I'm a fan of that design of the frames. And then I do love like the different coloring. The only reason why they're not higher up the list is because I feel like with this coloring, it doesn't, I mean, you can still wear it with anything you want, but it doesn't feel like as versatile. It's just like black sunglasses. Next up, I would say are my Adam Selman X Less Specs sunglasses. I love this style. I love how different they are. However, they're not something that I wear frequently because I feel like they are very much like a summer sunglasses and like a special day type of sunglasses, not just like an everyday wear sunglasses. So that's why I don't rank them higher. Seventh would be my Ray-Ban and literally only because it is so annoying that it doesn't recognize my face and all that stuff. But I really do love these ones. They're super light. They're Ray-Ban, which I really do think are classic. And I think the frames are really nice. Eighth, I would say are my Les Specs sunglasses, the Hema Karina. I like these because they're very different. They have the light frame. They have the light lenses. Also very much summery sunglasses, I feel like. Like, I feel like I just want to wear these on a boat day. Not that I have that many boat days, if at all. But I feel like that's what they remind me of. Ninth would be Tom Ford Dasha sunglasses. I really like these. I think that they're very, very comfortable. However, I do feel like now, like I said, they're very big on my face and I don't lean towards bigger sunglasses anymore. So that's why they're pretty much almost at the bottom. Tenth would have to be these dime sunglasses. The, I guess, bestie sunglasses based on what it says. Because again, they're really nice. I like the design and I like the style and everything, but they do feel a little bit more cheap. So they're just one of those sunglasses that you just hold them and you're automatically like, yeah, these feel like they're more like cheap sunglasses. And lastly, these other dime sunglasses, because these honestly feel even cheaper than the black ones. Like these ones still feel fancier compared to these ones. But even then it's just, I think it's like the noises that they make, they're super plasticky, like, just you can hear the material. It definitely doesn't feel very good quality material. So that's why these are definitely at the bottom too. This one being the total bottom because it just feels even cheaper. But again, I do think that if you have expensive sunglasses, it's worth to have like a little bit of a cheaper pair of sunglasses for those days where you might be doing something where if you lose your sunglasses or something happens to them, you're not gonna be super sad about it. Anyway, that is my sunglasses collection. It felt like a lot describing every single pair. So I definitely do think I have quite a bit, but I do have room for one more in this sunglass holder thing. So we'll see if I find another pair that I'm into. For now, I really feel like I have all the pairs that I like, but every once in a while, I'll find a pair of sunglasses that I'm like, I need those. Not there yet. Definitely don't need any more, clearly. But I hope you enjoyed these. I feel like some of these sunglasses are very common and you might have seen them in many other people's feed on social media or maybe in real life. So if you had any questions about them, hopefully that helped answer them. But if not, you can always leave a comment. If you have a pair of these or another pair that you want to share, like also please leave them in the comment section. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to all the sunglasses. Well, the ones that I find, I feel like maybe some of them are sold out and discontinued. We'll, we'll see if they're available, but whatever I can find, I'll definitely link in the description. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.